So here I'm at the lighthouse, and I thought I'd show what's going on underneath the lighthouse, because it's kind of interesting. So first of all, we have this uh, long way down, and there are flood guards here. And what the flood guards do is basically stop if, uh, if one of these pieces gets knocked out and the water starts flowing down the, uh, down the way. It, uh, it blocks the water from going down. So that's all that's about. And uh, you may say, oh, no one will ever do that. Well, of course I did actually knock out one of these blocks and the water started flowing and it was exciting. So anyway, going down here, the reason you don't want water to flow down here is because there's a heck of a lot of tracks. This is the uh, Goom station line that goes on and on and on. And so I thought I'd add two little connector rails that uh, get you going on that. And uh, they're kind of cute, so I thought I'd you know show them off real quick. One is this idea, which is you uh, land on the thing and you fly along. And uh, the key thing here with this design I found is that you kind of have to open it up. You really do have to knock out a bunch of blocks nearby so that the uh, the thing can just fly and land on these these rails and continue on. Um, it's interesting if the walls were here, the uh, when you landed on this thing, they wouldn't, it wouldn't accelerate at all. So it was a sort of a strange thing, actually. It's kind of an odd phenomenon. You had to kind of keep it wide open so that it could actually uh, flutter around or something and, and so land there properly. Um, so this one's another one. You uh, whack on it and go. And this one just drops you onto a, uh, a track. And it's got a slow acceleration just because I'm a cheapskate when it comes to uh, these accelerator rails. But eventually you hit another rail and start going. And so that's about that. Um, about the only other interesting thing here is, uh, let's see, oh yeah, it's just going down here. This is this is worth your while. I will cut when this thing, uh, when we get to this place. So here we are at bedrock level. You can see it's all black ahead of us until you get into the amazing, ooh, interesting lighting effect. <laughs> that is bizarre. Check it out. Get close, and then as you look in different directions, I don't know. Anyway, the lighting's pretty wild down here. This is the big dig, and uh, anyway, you can see that it's kind of freaking out between being at the bedrock level where the lighting gets really dim, and uh, I guess it's if I look down. If I look down now, I don't know what it is. Anyway, very strange uh, lighting effects, as you can tell, um, but very cool anyway. This is something Quaxalot did is just carve away everything that wasn't a uh, an ore deposit and uh, until he got tired of doing that. <laughs> and you can see it goes all the way up to the roof up here. Anyway, I thought that was worth revisiting, um, especially with the funky lighting effect. So that's about all. Bye now.